Okay, welcome back everybody. Hakuna! You've dropped in here! Unexpectedly. Thank you for being here. Alright, so we're gonna get uh, going here with our Escalio LP. And uh, before we jump into it real quick, I have the voting tally for the next one in case you want to go and vote. It'd be really nice if people voted. I barely have any votes at all. So if you want to go and vote for that on Twitch, I'll start the Twitch vote here. If you want to vote on YouTube, top right part of the screen is a little card you can click on and vote there. So here's the voting tally, or here's the voting option here. So go ahead and vote for whatever you want. And let's get into the game here. So let's start this up. Have a good day and enjoy this game. Okay, so I have to basically... Um, to see if there's some <laughs> have to see if there's some uh no there's no ghouls here so no ghouls here Hakuna, big maddie nothing i can do about that so all i really can do is just uh fill up a team for teeth here and so yeah that's really all i can do i can't really do much i mean i could fill something here temporarily that's what big maddie was saying i could do temporarily until i find a ghoul so maybe i'll do that Maybe something small. Maybe I'll get a pixie for here and get something bigger here. So I've got like 30... No, that's not 30 points. That's uh, 25 points. But yeah. So, challenges have increased. Hakuna, I've completed yours. And uh, that was pretty nice. But um, I can't fill that last one there. Probably get something for there. The top. You know what? I think a hellhound might be complimentary or centaur. Uh, let's see here. Ah, uh, we have enough dark stuff on this team. Let's go get a centaur here. And I can just put that there for now. Until we find something else to put in there. So, that's kind of what we need to do. I hope the sound isn't too loud. I know I changed the volume last time. We'll have to check that out. I hope it's not too bad, but... Because if I play the multiplayer, i got to change everything all over the place. No, it looks pretty good. Alright, cool. So, alright, we did that. Let's get used to the controls again, because just coming right off of that. You vote zero? Yeah, go ahead, vote for another one too. You get two votes on Twitch. YouTube can only have one voting uh, system there, so that's why that's set in place. I could do multiple votes on Twitch otherwise, but it could uh, disrupt some things, so. Alright, so this is a temporary fix, temporary band-aid, for now. Uh, I don't know if we have any more equipment, though. I, well, yeah, I do have the Flame Axe, and you know what? I could probably turn him into a Barbarian and work on the Barbarian class a little bit. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But I think we did... I think Camden... no. Not totally finished there yet. So they're moving back to Yorsa, and I think I have to because I think, I think basically, it's gonna be too hard here for me to defend too much because I think um, I'll be pushing into Yaskara soon. Hey sir, hi, how are you? I am very good, Ikpan, very very good. So we're gonna play a little bit of Brigadine today. Later tonight we'll jump back in here. We'll try out some campaign of uh, Age of Mythology. We'll go through some of the campaign that they have. Give it a shot. Uh, if there's anything interesting you want me to see there, let me know. But, um, yeah, gotta play some Brigadine today. So here's a domain, in case everybody missed it. I am just destroying this world with Escalio. It's, uh, it's a little tough with the challenges, but I'm still able to push through. <laughs> and we had some good luck in some areas, too. Some battles were really tough, though, but, uh, so, yeah. Bar might be nice. Want hard to want another when you got Bagman, but you got one of each Camber Berserk and Samurai and Scalios. This weird thing. So Teeth is always someone's second banana. <laughs> someone's second banana. Yeah. How you doing, Valkos? Good to have everybody here today. Uh, so yeah. And, oh, and I don't know if you saw this, Hakuna. You probably did. You probably watched back. It's awesome the video. But in case you didn't fully get to see it. Uh, no, it's not there. It's here. In case you didn't fully get to see it. Right there. Magnamagus, level 22, Avenger. 
So Cortina is level 10. She's a nice cleric, and uh, guess who I made Lucia? Guess what I turned her into? A nice lancer. Uh, did you play Age of Mythology campaign? I didn't see it. Uh, no. Well, I did offline. I didn't make a video of it. But um, I could start up a new campaign tonight and just play some of that tonight if you, you know, if you're kind of interested in that, which is kind of what I was talking about doing. And I never did it yet, but um, I played it myself a little bit. I got up to the Egyptian part, and um, then I just didn't get to continue it since then. So, yeah, I could probably do it online and just do some campaign for fun, you know? And, uh, yeah, nobody's ever really tried that out. It doesn't seem like anybody's ever tried out uh, Lucia as a Lancer. So, I mean, from her stats, the 81 agility looks fantastic. It looks like Gallo stats, you know, frontline stats. I'm going to give it a shot. I think she'd be pretty good at that. So, alright, so we move that around. I don't remember what else I have to do. I think this is my Iria team here, which is fantastic already. We're going to try to level up Gallo, try to level up Teeth. Uh, yeah, nothing I have to do here. That team looks great. Okay, location, going back. Let's push it, execute, move on. And, uh, so now I'm basically giving back this territory. I don't... I can't, I can't hold it. I end up holding yours at the same time. It's just not possible. You see how the roads connect there? Ikapan, uh, that's how you can attack. So, if I leave an available castle for them, they will take it. And I will not do that for my enemy, you know, especially to move into my territory like this. So, and if you can see my territory, I don't want them taking over the vast majority of my territory. That would not be good, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, uh, Ikpan, I will have that up later tonight. Uh, I do have this that I have to do for a live stream, and I have to um, uh, get some videos. So this coming week, there won't be a lot that I'll have on my channel. It'll be a lot of uploads. So I hope that you enjoy that still. I won't be able to do much of the um, uh, mythology for at least a week. So I will have some of the campaign tonight. And I'll have Brigadine running through the week. And uh, Brigadine multiplayer at the, on the weekend. So I will have some stuff going. But I've got family reunion stuff that I have to do. Which will be really good for me. And so you won't see much of me. But you will see some videos. So... That's what I gotta say. That's a disclaimer, I guess. But, uh, alright, so we set that up. I think we'll have this team attack. I have this other team attack, too, because they're not doing much. If they can. Which I think... I think they can. Yep, they can. Just to push the pile. Push it up there. I don't think I can attack anywhere else right now, so that's really all I got. So let's go ahead and do it. The Scars took it back. Nomekia is coming in here. Nomekia is going to take over the Empire here. Good. That's good. I get to come in here. Alright. Cool. I'm going to do this battle. I'm going to push. Back Cortina. Do Daffy or Miguel. No. We're going to level up Lucy a little bit. See how strong we can get her. Alright. Cool. I don't know if they'll stay. But if they stay, this would be awesome. You know? So how's everybody doing today? How are you all doing? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Please tell me. I'd like to know. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I don't know if I'll have a chance to upload the uh, Age of Mythology campaign. I'll probably mostly do a live thing of that, but that'll have to be a week from now that I'll get into the second part. So tonight will be first part of the campaign. And however far I go with that, you know, however far it takes me, I'll probably play like a few hours of that, see see how far that can go, and um, check it out from there, you know. So that'll be fun tonight. A nice relaxing time. Just building up my civilization and uh, crushing others, <laughs> crushing other civilizations. <laughs> But I did a little bit of the campaign and it looked pretty cool. It looks like it has a bit of a story to it, so they actually make you uh, feel invested in there, you know? Which is kind of nice. Like you're actually helping the world, you know? Fighting against all the evil gods and working with the good gods to go and trash all the nasty 
nasty ones that are around. So yeah, as far as this battle goes, I, I'm not sure they'll stay. They could. No idea, you know? No idea. Lavos, how are you today? How are you? You know nothing of this game you play now, but okay, I will see a little to learn. Did you like it, the first part of Age of Mythologies? How did you find it? Oh, with the campaign? The campaign was pretty cool. The campaign was good. I do enjoy the little bit of, the, of what I played. And so, oh, they didn't get to stay. This game here, Ikpan, is basically like chess with hexagons and monsters and knights. So everything you're seeing is basically what it is. So I'm gonna, as soon as I go and attack another monster, you're gonna see them attack each other for their hit points down there, you know? And then their MP comes into play if I use magic and all that. It's hit an evasion on the right, uh, levels are on the top in the middle, you know? And then you see they got elemental orbs in there, you know, as far as what their element is uh, affiliated with. So the vampires, they're negative energy elementals. You know, unicorns, like right here, positive energy or healing. You know, so uh, then you've got fire, earth, water, and all that stuff. Well, that's good to hear, man. That's good to hear. Uh, going pretty good. Got a pretty uh, nice push here. And so we'll be able to push through Leonia's territory. We'll be able to take over pretty much all of this. All of her territory will be mine. Then I'm just going to sit this team on defense, and I'm going to work my magic on the... Uh, Iskaris era, you know, area, and uh, we'll see how much territory we can conquer today within a few hours. So, Iskaris is coming back. I don't think Leonia can handle Zemeckis there. Not with Esmeri. <laughs> Not likely. Not likely at all. Norgard's gonna come back. They've got a full force to push Leonia back. Okay. All right. Hula's quest. Then you get an Ikpan, you get uh, little quests in here too. And some of the quests are good, some are bad. Your knights never totally die though. So your knights just get injured, they have to wait a month to come back and then they can fight again. But your monsters are perma-dead when they die. So Hakuna's here. Hakuna is great at explaining so many things. Hakuna, if you want to take the spotlight and help him out, <laughs> help him see what's what with this game, you can go ahead and take the, uh, take the mic from me. And... Uh, yeah, there's a there's a nice big community here too, Ikpan. Uh, there's a Brigadine website you can join down below. Uh, there's a lot of Brigadine sources. A lot of people that like this game. And so I can't say enough good things about it. But, um... A similar one to this, um... That's new, uh, Will... I was trying out the Banner Saga series that I will be doing tomorrow too, as a review, to see how similar it is, because it does seem kind of similar. Banner Saga seems to be a little bit more similar to Final Fantasy Tactics and uh, Front Mission 4, uh, from my own perspective. But um, Banner Saga 3 is, is a newer game, uh, and it's pretty cool, I enjoy it. But yeah, go ahead, Hakuna. You know, if there's anything you want to interject and jump in there and help them out with, go right ahead. You know, because really what it comes down to when you're seeing these numbers on the right here too, this is a knight's rune, uh, as you see on the top right there, 251, that's his rune. That's how much rune he can handle holding, and uh, each of these monsters have a certain amount of rune cost, All right, you know, that, they, that you have to add into the equation. So you're doing some mental math here too. Um, and so he's 75, so if I put him on this team, He's going to take up 75 points of that 250 point limit that I have right now. And as the knight grows, his rune limit grows as well. And so you can see how each of them have different costs. Uh, you, can, you can only get six whole units on a team. But if you don't do it right, you might be lacking on some, you know, rune power and all that stuff. So anyways, there's a little bit of math that goes into it, but... It's uh, it's pretty cool. It's basically like playing chess with monsters and knights. Uh, Hakuna can do a better job explaining it, maybe, but 
you know, I just like to say the quick and easy version of things, but, um, Okay, okay, Igpon. Yeah, definitely. I'll try to explain this as we go through, but you're going to see some battles as we play, so... Uh, I didn't get to do that battle because they ran away from me. They recognized how powerful my team was, and they were just like, Nope, I'm out. And that was that. But um, we'll get some battles where we'll actually get to do a lot of fighting. You know? And that will definitely happen. Uh, let me see if anybody can class. No, I don't think anybody can really class here. Oh, uh, that's... If you get to level 10, you can class, you can evolve them and class them up into something more. Which is always a nice thing. For the most part, some things, like, he's stuck until he gets an item. And then I can turn this Gigantes into a Loki. You know? Then he gets Meteor Doom. So there's always, like, uh, there's four unique monsters out of, the, out of the whole game you need items for, you know? Yeah, if you want any questions, Hakuna's here a lot, especially for this Escalio LP. Hopefully Hakuna will be, you know, a big uh, helper with some of the future ones too, but uh, Hakuna can definitely tell you a lot about this game, because we've played this game like there's no tomorrow. So, yeah. It's a really fun game, though. Um, Alright, so I don't, think any, I don't think I have to do anything else here. I think everything's set. Let's just start attacking here. We'll send the whole thing in there in case I need to, um, in case I need to do something else. And so, seeing as how I'm here, I gotta figure out where the Empire is gonna be. I don't rightly know. Okay, so he's sitting there, but he's not, he's not that powerful right now. So I don't have to worry about him all that much. I think we'll push in there, we'll push in here, and then I'm gonna have to take another team over to where I have. Uh, Drist at, put Drist on Tora, and then Drist Irie on on, uh, on Tora will move out and start attacking some more things from there. Yeah, that's probably the way to do it. Or, I could just have the other team defend while I push Bagdamagus' team up from the north, come down, and then I could move in that way too. So that's another way too. So basically what we do with this game is there's strategy and there's tactics. This is the strategy part, the overview of everything, where you think you're going to go and do this and that. Tactics are all battle tactics inside the battle. And so you get two different things. Uh, another, ver another way I could describe this is sort of similar to uh, Dynasty Warriors Empires, but not quite as action-y. You know, this is like you get into the battles and you're more chess-like, uh, turn-based. but. Alright, so they'll go up they'll they'll all go up there. Uh, we probably can take over a few things here. I think you know what? Actually this might be better if I do this this way. Okay, we'll go up in here, go up to Fado, attack there, and uh, those three will go and attack that way, and I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Let's do it. Let's go to Fado. <sighs> You'd be really good for it, Hakuna. You know what you're talking about. No one can fool you. <laughs> Alright, so Iria here, she's a Valkyrie. I have a throw spear, but it's a pre-move, so I can't just throw it any time. I have to like move up to his position, sit, and then throw it. She also has Holy Word and a heal. So it's a, she has a bit of a variety pack there. Holy Word is a really big ranged attack that hits everything. It's not very powerful. The spear throw is a bit more powerful. Her attack is the most powerful and then she can also heal up a unit if it's hurt. So she has like you can see here she's got uh, a blue orb and a white orb so she has the power of water and the power of holiness and uh, I got a red dragon here with double red and with all these orbs it really just depends on okay so you attack something and if you have like she has triple orb this arc demon has triple black orb 
which means that if it attacks something that's white, it'll do 20, 30, 40% more damage onto that white creature. And it stacks off their attack, it stacks against the enemy's defense, intelligence magic attacks really are based upon, uh, if I have better intelligence than you, and I do an attack on you, and you don't have good intelligence, you're going to take a lot more damage than I will. And that's kind of how it goes. Um, healing is the same thing. If you have a lot of healing, you know, if you get if you got a lot of intelligence, you can be a better healer. Uh, so even if you're like a black mage and you gain some magic spells to heal, you could be an amazing healer instead. So another thing is you're good. It's going to be really easy just to watch too, and as you watch, you get to see, you know, how much is involved. So this is like. This is a game of, I would say, micromanaging. This is a great game for micromanaging a lot of fantastical monsters and, you know, mythical knights situations, things like that. This is all based on Arthurian legend too, with um, all the different knights. Dinadan was a knight of the round table. Bagged Magus was a knight of the round table. Uh, Ulster was, I believe. Um, let's see, what other knights of the round table are in here? So the Logris is in the middle, that's where uh, King Arthur's capital was, his capital area was. Um, Calicent was one of his cap was one of his castles as far as Arthurian legend goes. So there's so much Arthurian legend and Norse mythology in this game, too, as far as like little uh, backstory things, you know, to keep you entertained, like, ooh, what's the story on this, you know? Terry did good. Yeah, risk, definitely risk. Uh-huh. And also to um, what I'd have to say is there is a background drop picture of runes, and I was able to translate those runes, and I believe I'm very close to the un real understanding of the translation of the runes, and it's uh, it's um, the rune from the background of the uh, organized phase basically says this person whose name is Dan is going to give his cattle and his possessions to his family. It's just a note. It's like a family note. I bequeath my possessions to you in case of my death or something like that. And I think that's what those some of those rune stones were. It was just uh, sort of a gravestone. Like if something happens to me, I want my family to know that they get to have my stuff, you know? <laughs> and so some of them were like proclaiming their battle deeds and stuff in the past, like Norse mythology and uh, Norse understanding of things, which I don't want to call it all Norse, I don't want to call it all mythology because it was just, people were talking to each other. Most of the time, they were just talking to each other. But yeah, game has a lot of interesting little quirks and things to it that are really awesome to explore and learn and all that stuff, you know? It really does. It's up, oh, then they left. They just Gish could have fought me too, but he didn't. He just gave up the ghost. That was that. All right. Well, let's do a spell just so we can have something. Uh, who's gonna do something next? I don't think uh, Gallo got to go yet. What's it three? I don't think she can do anything either. I don't think she could attack anybody. Nope. Nah, nothing to do there. Nothing to do with that. Nothing I can do. I mean, this is the only thing I can think of, so I'll show you an attack, because they were they kept running away. We'll see if I get the attack off. I hope I do. It is a red dragon, after all. So. Okay. Yeah, if you can make some beginner guides for the forum section, Akuna, that would help out a lot of people. You know, there's people putting in more things in there on the daily now, and some people are putting in uh, modded versions of the game that they, you know, put together with certain things, and uh, it's kind of interesting to see that. So, it's modded stuff, you know, I don't mind, like, seeing what they're about, I'm not... That's not my forte. But, uh, yeah, we get to see some demons fight. This is Arc Demon versus a regular demon. You can see there's definitely a difference with uh, attack power and strength, so. 
got my scorpions here. Oh, and I always talk about the Save Me Scorpion Fund, so if you if you do want to tip or donate to me, there is a Streamlabs Fund you can. And if you want me to name a scorpion after you, I can. And I will use it in battle, too. You know, just for fun. Or if you want another monster, if you prefer me to use another monster, I will definitely do that, too. Just for fun. But, uh... It would be really nice if they remaster these games. Some of them are really good. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, this might not be one of those remasters, though. Because uh, the developers of it are nowhere to be found. Uh, they're pretty much gone. I don't know where they went. I mean, I could try to find a few of them. But I don't know if I could get a response. And the, uh, the producer, or the publisher, uh, doesn't have it recognized as a listing of their own games now. So... I think they sort of archived this game in a way, and so I don't know what to do to get anybody on the phone anymore. Okay, I'd have to really try really hard to find something, which I kind of wanted to do. Which maybe I'll do when I get back. <laughs> I might have to try that when I get back, but that'd be kind of cool to see if there was something else that you could do. Something more. So I moved up. Gain some level, level 7. That was an easy fight. This may or may not be an easy fight, I don't know. Do I gotta fight the queen here? Ooh, this is gonna be a tough one. This is gonna be a very, very hard fight. I don't know if Bagdamagus or Magigas can come out of this one alive. All those freaking angels there, they're going to divine ray the the stuffing out of me. I've got mostly black on my team. A bunch of black orb stuff. Oh man. Okay, well we'll have to make do. Have to make do. I have so many ghouls and Yep. He's like he's a cardinal there, so he's gonna got holy word. Not sure if splitting up is the right call. I don't. I mean, how many wave attacks are they gonna give me? Just okay. She's a cleric, so it's mostly gonna be individual stuff. It'll be one holy word from him, and so just one holy word's a lot of individual attacks. I should probably come up and be with the group. I think that's probably for the best. So this will take a little while to get there, but we'll get there. Even if it seems a Game Boy graphics game, it seems much better of a Game Boy from what I see. So you're saying this is kind of like better than a Game Boy game? Well, this was a PS1 game when it came out, way back when. Uh, this game is technically 20 years old. So people watching me play this game are like, wow! That's an old game. You know, it is, but it's a definitely a classic. This has been a cult classic for a long time, and a lot of people that are in the know really enjoy this game. So much so, because there's so much customization. This game is one of the greatest mo uh, micromanaging games you can play. With so with story, you know, with mythology, um, you know, trying to figure out all the little secrets and details of what's a great team and what might not be a good team. This is one of those games that you can talk about forever. There's practically never an end point of which you can <laughs> discuss things in this game, you know? Okay. It's going to be a really tough battle for me, though, because all those angels are going to divine right. If they divine right my... Uh, Anything with black orbs, they're going to take an excess amount of damage that's going to really crush my spirits. Hopefully, they do a lot of dumb things and they don't get by too well. But we'll see. I'm on a little land bridge here and I don't have... You can see I don't have the greatest range. I don't have the greatest movement ability. Okay. Yeah, Ikpan, I hope you got to see the end of the uh, 
the other Age of Mythology I did. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, it got tough. It got a little rough for me at the end there. I wasn't able to like move up to the next class. They just kept, you know, battering me over and over again. I was like, when is this stuff gonna end? And uh, I finally, finally got to turn some things around and got, got where I wanted to go. You know. Okay, Cortina. We'll move up there. Ian Alexandrov. First game made me repeat countless time. This game? Oh, with uh, Legend of Forcina? Yeah, this is the Legend of Forcina version. I play the Grand Edition version, multiplayer, on uh, Sunday nights with my other friends. Probably saw some of that the other night. Uh, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. If you want to go and catch it, you can. But uh, this is a really cool game to play. And a lot of people say this version has the best music, which I'd have to kind of agree. I think I have to agree with that one. But yeah, 20 years, I had to guess that. Also reminds me a bit of Pokemon. Just a bit. Uh, Pokemon, I didn't play too much myself. I know I really wasn't of the generation to play it. I had my my cousin, my family play it, and they were showing me it. They're like, oh, look what this does, look what that does. And so it was kind of like, I was kind of playing it. Well, I wasn't really playing it, but I was I was watching them play it and get to experience it while they played it, you know? I didn't really grow up with Pokemon. I was, you know, I'm a, I'm a Gen Xer. I didn't really get all that. You know, I've got, uh, what I grew up with was uh, Final Fantasy, uh, Chrono Trigger, you know, uh, those types of older games, uh, Super, uh, Super Nintendo system, you know, that's a, that kind of stuff. Uh, this, none of the stuff I have in the ocean is going to be any good. I'm going to have to send something out there to fight to draw them in. I don't want to send my centaurs. This sucks. Can I protect it? I don't think I can protect it in time. Okay, I'm gonna wait until I get all my forces moving just a little bit more. Yeah, I see it a little after you uploaded because I, you slept. It was late in Greece when you stream. Uh, sorry, sorry about that, but you know, it's, uh, I like to stream at different times, later times for me, because I'm not too awake in the morning. A little more awake later on. Uh, Okay, we can probably put you out at least one. Okay, you guys end. So this is going to be really hard for me. Because I've got to get all my monsters almost in the water, actually. Which ain't going to be good. I'd almost want to get my nightmare out there to do something, but... Me neither. I played Pokemon only of what I remember of my old friend who played it years ago. Yeah, I remember I remember one of my cousins telling me all the little Pokemon. He's like, well, this Pokemon does this, this Pokemon does that. And he went on and on <laughs> for a long time. I was like, wow, there's a lot of monsters in Pokemon. I didn't even realize how much there is there. No idea, you know? It looks interesting, it just, I didn't grow up at the time with that. I had other games I was playing, you know, so I didn't, I didn't get pulled into the Pokemon theme, you know, like a lot of other people have. Uh, I think it's an interesting game. I mean, if I was of the age, I probably would have played it, but, you know, there was all these other games I was playing at the time. Mario Kart, Mario Kart I was really big into. It was one of my favorites. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, there were so many games I played. Let's see here. Okay, you can end. I'm gonna have to almost sacrifice something here to get the battle started, because I, unless I move out into the water and I try attacking in the water, they they have all the advantage in the water here. All flyers, all water creatures. Uh, yeah. That's one, two. Wait, how much is dimension? 
Bakuna, is that four? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think it's four, yep. I think Grand Edition puts it back to three, right? Grand Edition put it back to three. And I just have enough for a curse this time, Akuna. As soon as I leveled up to level 21, I didn't have enough for a curse. Now I do. You know, if they're going to come to me, let's just back up then. I think I'll get him off the bridge. Probably going to move you back. Yeah, it's, maybe, maybe that's a good idea. Um, we'll do it later. Slap protect. Yeah, I don't really want to be water if I don't have to. Okay, Cortina. I think you pull back here. Should be okay. Aha, exactly. You're happy with Pokemon. I remember collecting cards, Pokemon form, buying chips. Anyway, sorry for the uh off topic point. No, I don't mind. You want to talk about whatever? Go right ahead. Um, I'm pretty well situated with this game. Like this game, I know exactly what I'm doing most of the time. Most of the time. About 90% of the time. Then 10% of the time, you know, things might fall apart. But... Okay, pull you back. I think we're going to give you protect just to keep the nightmare okay for now I'm gonna ch I'm gonna attempt to I'm gonna displace somebody so I'm gonna do dimension here and that might make him come I've never tried a dimension to see if they'll actually come at to me come to me never tried that oh 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 that's right um I forgot I couldn't check the percentage. Oh man. I hope this works though. Good. Good, good, good. The rock vanished. Where did he go? Okay. Not great, but it did work. Okay. Okay, let's pull back. Uh. Another cool. The ghoul over here, he's gonna come at my side though. He will come at my side, I know that much. Um, okay, and this is the campaign for this game though. Oh my gosh, wow! Patterness, you've got some balls. Look at you. Yeah, this is the campaign. This is the Escaliwa campaign that I put down there. I've done all the LPs for. All of Grand Edition for the normal LPs. I'll, I might come back and do some more later. But I've done all the Grand Edition LPs. I'm working on all the Legend of Forcina LPs. So there's two different versions of this game. And way back at the time, this probably would be considered a beta because they have a boss in there that you never get to fight in this version. Uh, and then a couple years later, they brought out the Grand Edition version, which actually had the Bull Noil fight and the Snake of Chaos fight, where you could actually fight the boss and kind of finish the game, you know, in a, in a good way. But yeah, this one has a teaser with Bull Noil in it, so he'll pop up randomly, and he'll just uh, talk some smack to you and then uh, run away. Okay. I don't know if I should go up there. That looks like a bit of a suicide mission. Yeah, there's the there's a couple divine rays there. If Bagamagus goes up there, that could be bad. Could be really, really bad. Let's see, I just need to pull you back. Uh you need to come out of that position here. Can we get an archer shot? Ah, oh, the forest is impeding my movement too. That's right. Alright, well if they probably should be over here to take down this rock, because he's gonna be a pain, you know? Yeah, no problem. 
Uh, whatever you need to know about this, me or Akuna will definitely let you know. Definitely, definitely. I think... I think I should put her here. I don't see enough range here. Well, they, they've got the gin. Um... Yeah, and I want to frost this thing up. I don't see enough range here for me to be worried about. Okay. You're still good. Oh, you're out of the blue. Alright. Let's get the ghoul to come through the forest, and I can probably get him in the back. Wait. Wait. Okay, we, we gotta get this thing out of the way. That thing cannot stay there. Let's see here. You know what? Probably want to either double spear throw or something. Not sure what exactly right now, but I put the dragon there. Put you back. We're gonna shoot this rock up a little bit. Hopefully, we get a good win here. Right, yeah, I can't. Well, the force would have impeded him anyways. I can't get a shot on him without him counterattacking. I don't want to do that. Let's just set him in a forest here. We'll probably pull him back next time. Uh, what to do? What to go right about here? Probably here. Yeah, so far so well. This is actually kind of a boon. She doesn't move because she did that. I mean, they can, but you see that little blue area that they're stuck in? If they move outside the blue area, they lose attack, strength, defense, and intelligence. It's really, really bad for any monster that's out of the blue. So you see my blue range there? My monsters go out of, go out of it, or I pull my knight away from my monsters within it. It makes them so much worse. It's really always a bad idea. And I can only move there? Oh man, no! I'm gonna probably lose my nightmare. I can't hit him. I cannot do that. They're going to... He's gonna Divine Ray me wherever I go here. Probably. Oh, poor unicorn. Poor nightmare. I can't save him. There's no way. Well, I guess I could if I move my move him back, but still. He's still in the front. He's probably gonna die. I wanted him to be right there. Though. I wanted Bag to Magus to be right there. Well, if we're gonna try to save him, let's... Let's do this. Okay, heal him up with the Unicorn. And I can probably dimension more people. I'm gonna see if... I wanna see who I can dimension. Who do you think I should dimension? I think you still have protect. No, you don't. You do not have protect. Did I do that? Did that fall off immediately? I think a protect fell off that fast. I'm not sure. I swear I put protect on him, and the, the pixie does show that he had. At the, I guess two turns rolled around. Okay. I think he's good where he's at. I don't want to do any more damage to him. And I, plus, I don't want him to uh, hit me with a ranged attack. So let's pull back a little bit. Uh, you're okay there. Yeah, you're okay there. All right. Yeah, you're okay. Let's wait right there. Here comes the holy word. Alright, I'm gonna go get a drink. You can watch them duke it out and try to take me down. Hope they don't. I am in for a tough fight, that's for sure. Definitely. Ah, 
the nightmare might kick the bucket. If I keep getting hits like that, yeah, it's it's gonna kick the bucket. Back kick, pushing back. Nope, something's behind it. It can't get pushed back. No, it's not gonna survive. Not going to survive. Got all these angels here. This is pretty scary. I could Divine Ray a Bag to Magus twice. And, uh, well, yeah. Goodbye, Nightmare. Goodbye. Salutations. Really? Come on down, Isphus. Bring your horde. Yeah, they've got all the advantage here. I sort of want to take this castle so I can try to push a little bit more. This is a really good castle to take. You know, to, to hold it. And uh, if I take this, I'll probably get counter-attacked numerous times. So just like a bunch of times I'll get attacked. And if I win those attacks, I'll level up. Really? You didn't want to attack me there? That's crazy. Alright. So... What do we got? I could react her. I could do a couple... Geno Frost, I think. What that is. Three... Three, three, two. I could definitely do a couple Geno Frosts. I get one... One, two, three... Oh, that would be perfect. I would get all their main force. I'm only really missing one angel here and a griffin. So I probably should react her so I can do a double Geno wave. That's probably the best idea. I could uh, breath attack through here. Get this angel. Uh, yeah. Alright, so let's do a breath attack here. Could hit that, but I have other things to go on the south there and hit those things, so... Get to Isophis a little bit here. Do some dragon breath. So what's going on, Akuna? Did you finally get your PC all set up? I think I heard. I think you uh, mentioned it a little bit. I don't know the full details of what happened. Okay, so I can move forward. Alright, so tactically, probably should hit this guy in the back. I'll bring the other one forward to hit something else. What's going on, Valkos? What's going on? Critical hit. Good stuff. Cortina's gonna go up really nice. Very nice. Attack you, I could also probably attack you there. No, I'm gonna curse. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna curse you. I'm going to do the double wave on you. So, curse, double wave, that should work. Wait, what are our levels? 22. 
You're 23. Oh, man, you go first. So, uh, that changes a few things. So I might not get to do this unless I do it like this. So let's, let's throw the spear this way. Nice. 88? Not too bad, Lucia. Not too shabby. Okay, so I go out there and do an attack. Either the giant or the dragon. Um, okay, I think the... <clears throat> I think the dragon... Well, the dragon can come up there, so we can hit this thing twice. I hope. If the dragon could hit, or if the giant could hit, hopefully the dragon will hit, and then the uh, centaur will too. Yeah, also guys, it would be great if you wanted to vote on uh, Twitch. I have it up, the voting tally for Twitch, and for YouTube as well. Top right of the screen, little I button, you can vote on uh, YouTube, you know? So you can vote for the next LP, because the way this is going, it seems like I may crush Forcina very quickly with this Galio. <laughs> it's a possibility. Maybe a little more so than Leonia was, but this one's looking a lot, a lot better, you know? By the way, something I just remember now, you played with the Chinese and Agent Mathalus, so maybe you want to try the Chinese campaign too. From rumors, they say it's not the best campaign, but I don't know for real. Only has nine missions, I think. That's a good part. So when I tried the campaign, it just put me. It just like started off on the on the uh, the Greeks immediately. So I don't know if I can specifically pick one. It just seemed to just kind of go with the Greeks right off the bat. So I don't know if there's something else I need. If there's something else I need to try, uh, different ways to play the game, let me know because I'd like to try whatever's available. You know. Uh, yeah, dual wave attack should crush this thing, should kill this thing off. I'll probably take that out. No problem. That thing can go... Alright, let's start with her. We do some Geno wave attacks. Burn this up. And hopefully burn out their army. So nine missions there. Well, I'll look into it a little bit tonight before I start it up, and if I can find some uh, something else other than the normal campaign, uh, I'll give that a try. There you go, Cortina. Let's do that again, just because. So this React spell is a really good spell here, Ikpan. Basically, lets you go twice. And if you got mage units, I can do massive damage like this. I'm freezing the whole ground, frosting up all the enemies. It's gonna kill some things. <laughs> you know? Yeah, as you started the other one. It's a it's okay, it's better. Yeah, I said it because you are familiar with Chinese civilization. Very good player. Well, I am. I'm getting used to him now. I don't know if I was like a, a, a big expert on him, but I'm getting a little bit better at it now. So I'm doing what I can, you know. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to be a better player at that. But uh, Who needs a heal? Well, Lucia, I don't think she can get hit anymore. The dragon probably can. I mean, Lucy could get hit with another air blast, but besides an air blast and a paralyzer from the rock, I don't see anything else really hitting her right at this moment. I think the dragon is probably the most in danger. So let's heal him up. But uh, yeah, thanks for the compliment. You know, I may be a decent player. I've never really compared myself to anybody with that. 
But I do try. I do try to conquer and win. So. Oh. I did too much damage there. They couldn't handle it. They're like, nope. We're not taking that anymore. Alright. Well, thank you for that. I will, uh... Ooh, should I level back to Magus one more? Could try. I don't know if it's going to work, though. Now we should give it to the Gigas, just so he's a little bit better. Let's give this a try. If it doesn't work, Bag Max will do it. Uh, which is the best unit in Brigdeen? Dragon or Magician or what else? Well, it really just comes down to composition. You, you have different uh, countries. You can play as one of six different countries for the Grand Edition. For the Legend of Forcina version, which is the original, it's you can play out of five countries. There is a cheat to play as the Empire, but they don't have an ending like a true ending. So, you, as you play all the different countries, you get different types of knights. So sometimes some countries give you more physical knights, some countries give you more magic knights, like Carrion gives you mostly magic knights, so you have a lot of mages on your team. And uh, usually if you attack a mage with like an Avenger, that mage is going to melt real fast because they don't have enough hit points to handle the strength attack that someone like this, like this Avenger is going to do. So, Bag Magus has amazing power. He doesn't have great agility, so he could miss. But if he hits, it's going to be something like that. You know, 233. If he does a counterattack and it's a critical, he could do a lot of damage to Bag Magus. Otherwise, he's not going to do that much. So, Isfis really can't, you know, 1v1 Bag Magus all that well. That's why I don't care putting him out there. He's, he's going to be fine. <laughs> I just see my... The bag man's gonna be fine there, you know? But this Mandrake could possibly paralyze Bag Magus and it would render him, in, you know, uh, vulnerable to their attacks. So I'm thinking that's why they're trying this. But he didn't get a hit, so Bag Magus, we'll see what he does in counter. Yeah, 190, you can see. So this is the this is the third tier evolution of the knight for the Avenger class. And uh, you can see it's pretty powerful. Alright, cool. We pushed in there, took over Humber. Humber is now mine. Leonia's going in after the Empire. Okay, this is where I have to figure things out. Because I've got an empty castle right on Tora where I came from, down in that central position there. You see the little squares represent each castle uh, right there. And so I need a team there. I need to have a team up here. I need to keep a team up here. I might keep Back to Max's team here, although I could probably keep Miguel and Shootlius's team there too. And it might be okay. I don't think I'll get hit too hard. And then I need to kind of move a team in there, so we'll see. Whatever's the weaker point, whether it's north, whether it's northeast or it's west, whatever the weaker point is, that's where I want to send my new team that I have never really worked on. You know, so they don't have to fight anything too hard. But we'll see what it kind of looks like right now. Uh... This could be really hard on a new team. The Empire, the Emperor with that crossbow is insanely powerful. And I really do mean that. I mean, this is some strong stuff too. I mean, they've got Gwinglin here with Brangian and Snarcher, a couple red dragons and all that, but they don't have much left. So they're not all that strong. Okay, so that makes up on mine there. Let's move back to Magus' team. Back here. Uh, they could definitely defend against the Empire right here. I, I'm pretty sure they can. I don't. I think Cortina's strong enough to defend here, so we'll, we'll see. You know? Food happened. Ah, it's fine. Don't worry. Knights are very powerful, Ikpan. Yes, 
absolutely. But mages are very powerful too, so if I if I could show you Carolion, I'd show you them, but I crushed that country, so Carolion's no longer here. So the green country on the uh, the southwest is gone. I took that one over. Uh, Leonia is on the east side, and now they're like two places in the middle there, that light blue there. Some people say that's a different color. I see light blue. I see light blue and dark blue. That's what I see. But, uh, yeah, so there's <laughs> there's the blue, light blue, and the purple. <laughs> but the light blue is supposed to be, has, is supposed to have their country on the far east side, that whole area there with the mountain, mountain range. I took all their, I took all their space, so they don't have it. But let's look, let's move Bag and Magus' team over here. They'll pick up for Drist. You know, they'll pick up and defend where Drist uh, would be. Let's move Drist's team to Tora. And, uh, yeah, I've still got some challenges, too. So one of the other challenges that I got was to use Teeth. Get them to at least level 20. So I might use them most of the game, then. I'm probably going to have to um, put Hula uh, on Quest for now, though. And just bring Camden all over the place for some heals. Okay. Yeah, no problem. So Driss is going to Toria. Uh, they can stay on Fado because then they can attack. Bagdamax is coming back to Yorsa. So he can defend against uh, Zemeckis. I know that Zemeckis has got the crossbow, but Cortina is no longer a blue, door, blue dot anymore. So she could probably handle it, and she's gotten a lot better. Uh, Lucia is the only one that probably would take a lot of damage from Zemeckis, though. We got our Hoover team, which is still a baby team, but it should work. We got them on sequest. This is my mage team I put on sequest here. So these are mages that I have here, and you can see their hit points aren't all that good. But their MP is great, so if they do some magic damage, they can just melt armies very easily. got here? Nothing special. Uh, Alright, so let's just check out let's just check out how we can level up uh, uh, Bagdamax's team real quick and then we'll move out. So, 19, 10. Ooh, there's a class there. Oh, and that's right, I lost a monster. I'm gonna have to, have to replace something here. Uh, Cortina, level 9, level 11. Ooh, level 11. Ooh, we got some classes. What you saying? There's always the run. You got Cortina one shot by Meki boy though. Uh, I don't think I got Cortina one shot by Meki. I think I might have sh one shot Cortina with Meki, but I never lost Cortina with one shot. Not in an LP that I remember. Unless you remember it, you can point it out to me. I think that happened to Valkos though. I think he got one shot by uh, Zemeckis in his LOF playthrough. Because Zemeckis powered himself up and it was like, put the power on himself and BOOM! She was gone. It was like a 400 point damage attack. <laughs> there was nothing she could do about it. Oh, learning the game. Yeah, yeah. In learning the game, I had agree. She did get one shot uh, when I was just learning the game initially off screen long time ago and then at, at that point I realized Cortina is no good against Zemeckis and it's funny how when you play the, the Grand Edition version she talks a lot of smack to him <laughs> she'll talk smack to the guy okay all right I wasn't sure I was just you know trying to see where see what uh, see what we were talking about Okay, 13, Expert. Ooh, Expert. Sorceress, Mystic, Elector. Uh, I could do Lector. Let's see, well... I don't know what to do here. I mean, she will get hurt a lot from a range attack. 
I probably could go with Holy Word because I do have Geno Frost here, and to lessen the uh, incursion of Zemeckis one-shotting her, I feel a little safer as her as Elector right now. Maybe next time I'll class her up. Because I'll still get the Frost stuff, Akuna, so I still have Geno Frost and all that. You know? But Holy Word would make this a little more interesting. Okay, Lucia. Nope. Okay, we need... I'd, I'd rather get a 50-pointer here. And just pop a 50-pointer in here. Could get two mermen. I have tons of scorpions, though, so maybe we'll get two mermen here. Wait, I have two spaces, right? I think I have two spaces. <laughs> That's fine. But yeah, I completed your challenge. If you want to give me another one, you can. Hope you got to see that. That was actually quite a glorious thing to do. I enjoyed it. It was a tough one. Okay, got enough of that. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm moving you over there. You don't need the you don't need that here. Let's see if we got a 50 pointer here. I don't think anything's gonna add to 50 pointer here though. Not specifically. Oh well. There is a little bit of water there. I probably could use it somehow. Okay, location, uh, Tora, Toria, Fado, Yorsa, Quest, U Quest. Alright, good. Execute the attack. We're gonna go on the offense here. Drist will be on defense temporarily. Uh, we're gonna try seeing if we can crush the center. It's gonna be. If we can get the Empire gone, I get some more knights, and then I probably can hold this whole place a little bit easier. You know? So if I think I attack there, I attack up and over, and then I attack down and up. I could probably push this all back and then hold this. So then I'll definitely have Driss probably moving to Orkney, and then I'll have Irius team moving up to Lydney eventually. And probably it'll work out that way. And you guys can sit for now. So Lydney, good. Alright, save her up. Oh man. Yeah, if you want to vote, please vote. I don't hardly have any uh Hardly have anything voted for, honestly. Got like, uh, probably like eight votes overall. I'm already, um, I think I only have like four more, four or five more videos of this to do. So, not much is getting voted for. It really isn't. Nomekia is invading Calmary, taking back the territory. Alright, let's see what happens here. Oh boy, I, uh, I should have checked this, but even still, I have to try. Oh my gosh, is this going to be insane? Can we win? I do not know. I'm not sure we can win. Might be able to, but still. I was hoping he'd stay on Lagres. Totally went up to Lydney. Gish, Zemeckis, and who else is this dude? Soliel. Yeah.
Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. If we can get the win, it's gonna be... We're just gonna literally snake it from him in just a very sneaky way. And hope it works. I've got too many scorpions here to really work this well. And, uh... Yeah. I've got, I've got a couple of demon classes here, so the demons might do, you know, okay. I know. Well, you know, they've been crushing it, we've been crushing them. A lot of battles going all over the place here. You know, Lord Vampire... Oh, man. I almost don't even want to do this battle, honestly. This is just a very, very hard battle to do. Phoenix is going to have to front line. Get the center out there. Pull you into the back. Yeah, this is really a bad idea. <laughs> Gish sitting back there doing Thunderbolts. Zemeckis doing Geno Thunder. Oh, man. Solio waiting to cure everything up. A Lord Vampire sitting there to crush my face. We'll see, we'll see. Let's get the demon over there. The scorpions are going to have to trail. The scorpions, we're going to have to use them too. for me. if I should do a battle of displacement if I should just dimension them all over the place I wonder if that's the best idea I don't know Oh my gosh, no. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay, whatever he touches, he's going to kill, I'm guessing. That's probably the case. Uh, yep. Looks like that might be the case. Oh man. Get, uh, let's get you right about here. Yeah, I know. I was thinking he was going to power himself, but he's like, Nope. Don't worry, Zemeckis. I got you, buddy. I got you, bro. I'll protect you. Okay, well, they're going to they're gonna be able to come out after me now. I can't stop it. I'm getting too piled up here. I'm getting piled in. Yeah, let's put you about there. <laughs> I'll spot you a power, Mickey. Which is basically exactly what happened. 
This is totally what happened. Okay, uh, Gallo, you could get severely punished here. Which I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> don't say I never did nothing for you. Yep. He did. He did. Gal is going to take a hell of a beating. This is not fair. Let's go wait. Okay, I do have a chance. It's a very small chance, but I do have a slight chance. Here. Everybody. Gish, come on down, buddy. Fog? Oh no. Don't do fog. It worked. Not even gonna attack. It is. It is. I don't, uh, I never use the spell myself unless I got nothing better to do. But apparently he thought that he had nothing better to do either. I was hoping he'd moved up, you know, put himself in a nice convenient spot for me. He did nothing of the kind. Okay, well, I'm guessing we're gonna have to do some fun things here. Which I could do that. Could do that. Or, you know, I need to get, I, I need to get through here, so I'm going to just push him down for a second. I really would wish to move up here, but you know what? I've got a better idea. You like it, I like it too. Let's move you... I almost want to move him to this place next time, so I've got some range and all that. But... Yeah, I don't know. I might get more use out of the demon class up there. Let's keep doing this. Maybe we'll kill him off. Hopefully. We'll see. I don't know if they have enough healers nearby. If I can get him down fast enough, he might just leave. <laughs> 271. Nice. Oh, one more of those and he's a goner. He's a goner. Okay, I gotta stay there and do it one more time. I can get him gone. I don't think Zemeckis is going to run away too easily, though, but this is going to hurt, because Zemeckis is going to come down and he's, he's going to plow through my, my army quite easily. Quite readily. Uh, let's get another... Wait, what else do I have? Three? Oh, Scorpion's going to go back there. Uh, should I attack him? You know what? I don't feel like I need to. I'm going to be taking a lot of damage in this battle, so I'm going to try to prevent it as much as I can. Uh, should I move something else out of the way? 
Would that get something else here to work on me? Probably. I think, I think the rock might come out after me. And Zemeckis might even, too. You know, we're just going to wait right now. Okay, that's not so bad. I was hoping he didn't attack uh, Iria with <laughs> that power attack there. <laughs> that would have messed her up something fierce. Yeah, this would have been like 400 points of damage on something else if it wasn't red. Ooh, good position. Thank you. Might be able to take down a vampire lord. Yeah, on a dragon, on a red. If that was on a blue, that would have been at least 320 plus points of damage. At least. Could have killed a pixie, too. Could have just one-shot my pixie if you would have got a little closer. What's tough, though, is that that, that was a lot of damage, but now I'm going to take a whole genobolt attack. You know, which isn't going to be all that good. Awesome! Alright! One, two, three, four... I think we have to do our holy words here. I could get him again, but I'm probably just going to power up attack and burn through the whole thing. This would hurt the demon more so. And the breath attack is going through there, so I probably should do it like this. Sorry, Hakuna, but we got to take this demon down too. Too many powerful things here. Way too many powerful things here. Uzum! Thank you for the follow, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks a lot for the follow. Get to enjoy some Megas music here for a bit. I don't know if this is a good idea. This could be. Yeah, thanks for the, so much for the follow. If you want to watch more Brigadine stuff, usually I'm running Brigadine about four times a week. Oh! This was a good idea. Yeah, thanks for so much for the follow. If you want to talk to me about Brigadine or whatever, go right ahead. I don't mind at all. Plenty of other games I do, too, so... Uh, oh, that was a great idea. Okay, so the burn attack is going to finish this off. I don't need to shoot this anymore. Probably should shoot up the rock a little bit, because he's going to be a problem. You know? In before fog. <laughs> yeah? Nope, got the crit instead. <laughs> Screw you, fog. <laughs> yeah, it didn't seem to do anything. I, I wonder if it only works for that specific turn uh or if it like i don't know how like i barely ever use fog it never really worked for me in the past i never really cared to try it all that much let's protect oh boy well he's doing okay gallo might need it and then i can actually uh go fisticuffs with the lord vampire uh, the dragon could use it too. Um, uh, anybody really could use it a lot as well. I think Gallo, because Gallo, then I can actually have him fight a little bit. You know. Bruise him! 
311. Huge fan of this game. Anyways, fun to meet others who enjoy it. Yes, definitely. I love to talk about this game. I love to talk about it with uh, fans. So if you want to talk with me, me, Hakuna, tons of other fans jump in here and we love to talk about this game. And so we always have a good time here. Uh, I think I need to heal him up because I, I don't want to lose my Dijini though. You know, I've got healers here. And the dragon looks okay so far, but I feel like the Dijini is going to take some real serious damage. He's at the corner, so let's go heal there. But yeah, did you name yourself Bruzum 311 as a reference to uh, 411 as information? Just you're close enough to being all the information everybody needs about Bruzum? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making a play on words, but yeah, welcome to the stream, dude. Gonna have to holy word you down. I should work on a vampire lord too, you know? I should definitely work on a vampire. Uh, that's not too much. But that's good for him. Good on that. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I don't know what Gish is going to do. I don't have a clue. If he stays right there, he's a dead man. He's a serious dead man. He's not going to survive this. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. They're in it for the long haul. It's really the best chance he has for killing this thing. He doesn't really have a good chance for taking this thing down anyways, you know. I mean, it, it definitely will do the most damage, honestly, you know. It's, it's not a bad way to go. He really does. And uh, it's, it's going to be really tough because as soon as Soliel's team gets there, they got a, a Wyvern to start attacking it, you know. A lot of other things too. I have to heal up this dragon. Here we go. Well, I could do more magic, but you know what? We need to get rid of. We need to get Gish out of here. He's got to go. He's got to go. That is a guarantee. So what do you like about Brigandine, Ruzum? What's some of your favorite stuff? Hey, that's nice. Got the demon out. Got him out of the way. Got Gish out of the way. Yeah, you keep saying that. You keep talking big. Okay, Gallo could use it, but the dragon needs a little more. Just a little bit more. Alright, good, good. Uh, I could try cursing him to death, but I don't think that's going to help. I could weaken him. Which might be the thing. I tried to mentioning the unicorn to see if I can uh, keep the heals off of this team. So many choices. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. 61. Doesn't seem very likely. Let's just do some status affliction here. Let's uh, let's weaken a vampire lord so he's not so powerful. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're gonna stick it out. Tally whip. Yeah, and uh, Bruzum, if you if you want to vote on Twitch or on YouTube, you can. On YouTube, it's a card top right. Vote for my next LP. I've only got four more to go for the Legend of Forcina because I'm going through them so so quickly. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and vote for one of those, you can. You can also vote on Twitch twice. You can vote on Twitch twice. One of them is uh, a random. So Hakuna keeps voting random on my Twitch chat. <laughs> my Twitch side here, which is kind of funny. I'm too low to attack, totally. Too low for that. I can get there. I think I'm gonna have to do some scorpion attacks here. But... Okay, I got an idea. Let's see if he heals himself up. I really would like to focus on him. Although, the problem is... The problem is that I can curse him, you know, I can breath attack, do an attack. If I miss any of my attacks though, that's not good. But he is weakened, so he probably will die pretty quickly, so... Let's see. 58 defense? Oh, it's gonna go down so quickly. Just try some physical attacks here. Lilm, a creature of chaos. Trigger, what can I say? 137! 137, I think Gallo can take this out by himself. He's weakened so he, get, he can't even suck back any hit points. You see this? He took off one hit point and he didn't gain any hit points at all. Scorpions to the rescue! <laughs> Yeah, it worked out pretty good. 135? I wonder how much Gallo can do. Take off one hit point. Oh man, this is the best strategy against a Vampire Lord. Absolutely. Okay, let's level up Gallo a little bit. Let's see, 74? This should be good for him. All right, we're gonna do a little Venom spell here. And then I think Gallo can do it, because I'm not sure how much Gallo's gonna take off. Gallo might flat out kill the Lord Vampire, but it's hard for me to picture it, so I'm just gonna guarantee this. Okay, I'm, I think Gallo can definitely do like 160, 170. Brave Knuckle. Come on, Gallo. You are the man. You can do this, man. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Thousand experience. There you go, man. There you go. Have you heal yourself? Oh, boy. So we took out some really key part uh, players here, but Zemeckis is still here, so we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, heal yourself up. Hopefully. Oh, thank you, Zemeckis. That was going to be so much harder if you stayed. So much harder. Let's see, 480. Don't think I could kill him. I don't know if I can get him out right. That's level three. I mean, I could try. Okay, well, we'll give it a try. I think after this battle, I'm probably gonna call it because I have to do a lot of other work on a lot of things uh, to get set up for the next. Um, for the next Brigandine LP that I have going on. So yeah, like I've been saying the whole time, hopefully everybody keeps voting. You know, I'd like to see some more votes to see what uh, pops up in here. Um, I don't see enough votes. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to play a different game. 
uh, people aren't voting for this game. Uh, so we'll see. Um, let's see, let's heal up the dragon, I think. He'll be okay. He'll be okay. Alright. Heal up the dragon. I'm gonna try to take out Soliel. See if we can do that. Seven. Not too bad. I'm harden you up. I think the Phoenix is going to have to take him out. Yeah, Phoenix is going to have to take him out. That's what we'll have to do. That's pretty good. Okay. Can it work? Flame attack would work. Can you get a fire claw? Or, uh. The bigger. Well. Oh, the basic one worked. Okay, cool. Ooh, we got two dragons. Nice. Very nice. This team is gonna look really nice growing. Okay, we got that gone. Uh, is there any more? Norgard's attacking Listenoise. Norgard beats Listenoise. Leonia's probably down to one castle, which might be uh, time for me to go in there and do something. Rathing in a path, a wyvern. All right, good. I'll take the Wyvern home. Okay, Zemeckis is not looking too happy. This stuff has been uh, thoroughly crushed. Leonia is down to just here. She's pretty powerful though, so... I could go after her and take her out, which I might have to, because if I don't, somebody else will, and I'd rather get her knights than someone else. So I might have to just literally let go of this castle to go up there and take her out now. Because she would have, she should have been destroyed earlier, but she kept moving over into Norgard's territory and just messing them up so bad. Something fierce. So I think what I'm going to have to do here is try to go after Leonia, take that out, come back down, and try to work on the Empire. We'll leave Norgard alone for now, but yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to leave it alone for now. And then right after we take out Leoness, if we can, if they move out and do an attack and then they're kind of going back and forth, then I'm just gonna have to leave it and just work on the Empire's territory because I have to make some progress, you know? Otherwise, I'm just, like, running around after everything. And so, yeah, that's pretty much what I got right now. That's all I can really do, you know? Uh, if you want to see more Brigandine gameplay, you're going to have to please vote, because I barely have any votes. I I, uh, I don't know if people actually want to see more of this. Uh, so I might end up doing a different game uh, and inserting it in my Brigandine time if people are interested. So may have to do that um, but if you want to vote the um, YouTube side you can click the button on uh, Twitch 
you can uh, do the, the voting in there for that. And so it's basically exclamation point. Uh, what is it? Exclamation point. Right, let me bring up the thing here. Yeah, exclamation point. I can't remember right now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, it's exclamation point, vote, space, and then you have either zero, one, two, three, or four. You can choose from. Zero is random. One is Ascaris. I'm sure I changed that, but it didn't change. I fixed that. One is Ascaris. Two is Kerleon, three is Norgard, and four is Omekia. So, if you want to see more, please vote on YouTube or on Twitch. Let me know that uh, you do enjoy seeing this game, so I can keep, you know, bringing this out, putting out more of it. Otherwise, I might uh, do some other game in the meantime until it actually gets, you know, a decent amount of votes. So it's kind of even out; everybody gets a vote. But uh, yeah, I got a couple votes today, which is good. Thanks for voting, Hakuna. And uh, so what you're going to see next is Wednesday, I'll have a video up. Friday, I'll have a video up. And then the next Monday, I'll have a video up for the Scholar LP. But it's not going to be a live stream. It's just going to be an upload uh, because I've got some family things that I will be at. So no more uploads. Uh, well, tomorrow I'll, have, tomorrow I'll have a live stream of Banner Saga. And tonight, later on tonight, I'll have some Age of Mythology. But then that'll be that for this week until the next week. And then we'll just have some uploads of Brigandine uh, for the rest of the next week. So that's all I got today. Hopefully everybody enjoyed. Uh, if you do, please leave a like and all that stuff. That'd be awesome. And uh, I will see you again. Same Brigandine time, same Brigandine channel. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching Veracity Trigger. If you did enjoy this content, please leave a like, and if you want to join Team Trigger, please subscribe or follow me on Twitch. See you later, Space Cowboy.